Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Great to see you once again. It's been a while. I hope you've managed to keep yourselves busy the last few weeks and not missing real life in Plaque Club too much. You join me here in my house in New Marker, and you might have noticed my fresh trim. My style is called the Joshua Proud, but understandably, with a mess like this on my head, I can't wait until barbers are open again. But... Here we are, another week of lockdown, another week of Impact Club Online. Hope you're all well and hanging in there. Unfortunately, Abigail hasn't been able to join me today because she's out practicing on her motorbike again. We can't keep her off that thing. So, we're back again with another video full of all your favourite leaders and a new addition to the team. We'll be bringing you the usual video treats, the memory verse for the week, courtesy of Alistair McKee, We'll have some choruses from Jack Attack and a Bible message from our new team member, Mr. Smith. Let's get straight into it then with the memory verse from Alistair out there at Cross the Jackson. Over to you, Alistair. Okay, thanks, Mark. Um, so guys, today, our memory verse, nice and simple. It's only got 17 words. It's going to be dead easy. I'm sure you're going to be able to, to say it really, really well. It's found in 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 31. And it says this, So whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. I'll say it through again. So whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. So that's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 31. Really easy. If you send it in, you may even get a prize. Send it into the Impact Facebook page, you might even get a prize. I'll read it through one more time. So whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. And that's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 31. But if you're at home and you don't have a Bible, you don't have a Bible, that's fine. You can leave a message on the Impact Facebook page and we'll, we'll try to do our best to get you a Bible. Also, if you've got a phone or a tablet that can, that can have apps, you can get that Bible onto your phone or your tablet and then you'll be able to find all these verses. So our verse today is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 31. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Hallelujah, for it's deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Plunge right in, lose your sin, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Hallelujah, for it's blood. Cracking job there, Jack. You had us all fair swinging to those tunes out there in Daviot. But now, we'll head over to the most important part of the video. The Bible message from Mr. Smith. Tuning in from Newmarker, not far from me. Just up the road there. Give him a second and I'll, I'll shout up to Mr. Smith and tell him it's time for his Bible story. Mr. Smith, it's time for the Bible message. Are you ready? Right, over to you now. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I've got a brilliant Bible story for you today. A story from God's special book, the Bible. And it's a story about a boy, a boy who listened to God, and a boy who talked to God, and a boy who was friends with God. And it's found in the Old Testament of the Bible. I wonder, I've got a question for you. Do you listen carefully when someone starts to speak to you? Do you listen carefully when someone starts to speak to you? Well, I'm sure you do, because it would be kind of rude not to, wouldn't it? But how do you show that you've heard what the person has said? Well, maybe you reply to them, because that's a good thing to do for a start. And maybe you follow the instructions, you show them that you've listened by following the instructions that they've given you. Well, this boy in the Bible today, he listened really carefully to God and he followed all the instructions that God gave him. I hope you enjoy the story. This is a true story that happened 
in the Bible a long time ago. It begins with a man called Elkanah and his wife Hannah. They lived in a hot country called Israel. Hannah was very sad because she couldn't have any children. So she decided to take her problem to God. So what did Hannah pray? Well, Hannah prayed, if you give me a baby boy, I will see that he serves you all his life. But Hannah didn't pray out loud to the Lord. Hannah prayed silently in her heart. And the wonderful thing is that God still heard her. Just then, a man called Eli, who worked at the tabernacle for God, saw Hannah, but he didn't realise what she was doing. Her lips were moving, but she wasn't saying anything. Are you okay? asked Eli. Hannah said, I'm crying out to the Lord because I want him to answer my prayer. Eli replied, go in peace and may the Lord give you what you ask for. After a few months, God answered Hannah's prayer. A baby boy was born. She called him Samuel. That means God hears. The Bible says God always hears us when we pray to him. Well, the little baby Samuel, he grew and grew till he was a little boy. And when he was a little boy, Hannah remembered the promise that she'd made to God, that Samuel would serve God for the rest of his life. So Hannah brought Samuel to Eli the priest at the tabernacle. Eli looked after Samuel. He was a bit like his granddad. Eli taught Samuel all about the things of God. One night, Samuel was in his bed trying to sleep, when all of a sudden, he heard a voice. Samuel, Samuel, <gasps> somebody was calling him. Who was it? It had to be Eli. So he got up and he went through to Eli's room and he said, here I am, Eli, you called me. But Eli said, I didn't call you, go back to bed. So Samuel was a bit confused, but he went back to bed. He was just about asleep again when he heard the voice again, Samuel, Samuel. So Samuel got up and he went through to Eli's room and he said, here I am, you called me. And Eli said, I didn't call you Samuel, go back to bed. He thought maybe Samuel just wanted a drink of water or to stay up a wee bit later, maybe like some of the boys and girls in my house. Samuel was in his bed and he heard, Samuel, Samuel, I did hear somebody thought Samuel. And he got up and he went right through to Eli's room and he said, here I am, you called me. Then Eli realised it was God who was calling Samuel. It was God who was speaking to Samuel. And he told him, next time you hear the voice, you say, yes, Lord, I am here and I am listening. So Samuel went back to bed. Can you imagine the excitement that Samuel must have felt waiting for God to speak to him? And thinking, I must remember everything that God says to me because it's really important. Just then he heard a voice, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, yes, Lord, I am here and I am listening. That moment, God told Samuel what he wanted the people to hear. And then Samuel told everybody else what God wanted them to know. Samuel continued to listen carefully to God for the rest of his life. And God was with him all the time. Whenever Samuel spoke for God, things happened just as he reported. Everyone knew that God spoke to Samuel and that Samuel was God's prophet. So perhaps you're wondering, how can I hear from God? Does God speak to us today like he spoke to Samuel? Actually, God speaks to us in a better way. God has a book and everything we need to know to understand how to be friends with him, we find in his book, 
the Bible. And the Bible says that Jesus died for our sins so that we could get to know God. If you don't know Jesus yet, then Jesus loved you so much that he died on the cross for you. Jesus said, whoever hears my word and believes on him who sent me has everlasting life, life forever in heaven with him one day. And that's for you too, if you trust in the Lord Jesus as your saviour. But maybe you are a Christian, maybe you do know God, maybe, like Samuel, you need to take time to listen when God speaks through his word, the Bible. Well, Samuel listened to God and he loved God. Will you listen too? Well, thank you for that, Mr. Smith, and thanks for staying with us, guys. Hope you've enjoyed another week of Impact Club today. Now remember to practice your memory verse and work on the crafts that have been put online for you and send them in to us. But until next week, cheerio!